Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.14.12.0. Yet another awesome update coming to you guys from Nelson. Lots and lots of community suggested stuff, as well as an interesting way to generate fuel for yourself without having to scavenge in towns. Now you guys might be able to tell already, we have a nice little oil derrick right here on the ground. Now the crafting recipe of this is going to be on the screen right now, and basically this when placed on gravel or sand you can't put it over on grass or on rock or stuff like that it needs to be on gravel or sand this stuff right here um, it will begin pumping when powered by a generator um, fuel and after 16 continuous minutes of running eventually it will turn green and uh, I have let it run for that amount of time as I was building this nice little base thing eventually it'll turn green and we can then fuel up on it and then it will turn back red and then you gotta wait 16 minutes before it fuels up. And this is super awesome because one oil derrick will be able to fuel the generator that is powering it. Uh, quite a bit actually. This takes 16 minutes to get a fuel tank and this takes 80 minutes to get to 50%. So anyway, you can fuel up the generator um, with a single oil derrick. And then on top of that, of course, you can use that fuel that you get from this uh, this oil derrick and then you can use it to fuel up cars like this or, or whatever else, anything else that requires fuel and then you guys might be wondering is it really worth it for me to create these oil derricks I mean it does have a relatively demanding recipe um, but you also need to consider that you can have multiple derricks being ran off of the same generator as long as it's within the radius feel free to put these down I mean you can put down a ton of these little oil derricks and they're all gonna be working towards getting you fuel and that's awesome so after 16 minutes we'll be able to fuel up three gas cans from these oil derricks and we can keep going I mean we can get some more oil derricks here and then we can just keep putting down these as long as they're within the radius of the generator and as long as they are on gravel you can just keep placing these down you can keep crafting these oil derricks and creating an oil empire and then um, basically have a base where you have infinite fuel I think it is a very very awesome idea before you always had to go and scavenge within towns to get fuel and that is a really good way of getting yourself killed because there's always bad guys at the towns. Next up we have metal versions of the trophy cases and weapon racks, very cool. These work in the same way as lockers in that they can only be accessed by the person who put them down as well as the same people who were in the group of the person who put it down. Anyway, you guys know how that works. And on top of this, I, I just want to point out how amazing the burning Hypertech canned beans look inside of this metal trophy case. Very awesome. It looks futuristic. It's super cool. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that unboxing video of this, uh, pr pretty funny, pretty funny video. You guys can check that out on the sidebar right now. Also, we had new skins added to the stockpile. Very, very awesome. Four of which are created by the community via the curated workshop and one of which made by Nelson himself, those little shoulder tassels. They have a specific name, I'll put it on the screen right now, as well as a picture of what they look like, but they're little shoulder tassel things like for high-ranking military members and stuff like that. In regards to gun skins created by the community, they are right here. Some of you guys might remember a few of these, like the Lightning Shadow Stalker, I mean, oh! Okay, we have the Backyard Maple Strike made by yours truly. It's uh, designed to look like a Nerf gun, and I think I did a decent uh, job at a accomplishing that as you can see it's got this toy look to it as if it's like a nerf gun uh, it says choking hazard on the side you know it is a toy it's not meant for children under well 21 years of age in this case and then we have the dogfighter blunt force this is also super cool this is intended to look like those world war ii planes with the little shark design on the front there this is created by sky rocketeer also a friend of mine he's also a twitch streamer so be sure to check out his stream down below also we have the lightning shadow stalker you guys might remember this from the uh, skin tutorial a lot of you guys really really wanted to see this in the game and uh, here it is look at how sweet this thing is it glows very bright especially let's let's check it out at nighttime a nice bright glow coming out of this thing also if we have bloom on I prefer not to have it on but man look at that that's crazy this thing glows also we have another maple strike skin created by Soto and I'll show what that looks like on the screen right now it is the dragon serpent maple strike also very cool it's got gold engravings on it and a dragon design on the side very cool Soto is also a unturned youtuber a Spanish unturned youtuber so be sure to check out his content 
down below as well. And those are the four skins that were added into the unturned stockpile. If you guys like to buy any of these, I will put links of them in the description down below. On the other side of the wall, we have something that's been suggested by the community for a very long time, and those are shutters. Oh yes, that is right. I mean, they're, they're pretty simple. I, I suppose they work like you would expect them to. You put them on windows and they open up like so. In Unturn 2.0, they kind of flipped up. They were hinged on the top and they flipped up. And now they're a little bit fancier in that they're like double doors, like so. And then these come in birch and all, all the different kinds. We got the pine ones, we have the maple one there. And then we have the pine one here and then the metal ones that can only be opened by the person who placed them down or the group members and stuff like that. So anyway, th that's the metal one there. We got the pine ones. Anyway, they come in all, all the different colors and they look pretty sweet. Moving on, we now have a new building type. Before we only had wood and metal and it's exciting to see some new ways or different methods of building bases. And this now includes brick. We can now have brick buildings. You can now build up. Ha, ah, good. That was such a good joke. Oh my god, 10 out of 10 meme. They, they're they very they're very strange. I kind of wish they did have a little bit of a design to them. You know, like, uh, you know, like the brick walls, I suppose, as they as they would be. Or, but right now it kind of looks like a Play-Doh house, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> we cannot create foundations and, and roofs for bricks. Um, it does sort of make sense. Uh, I don't think that you'd be able to create a brick roof, to be honest, in real life. I think it might collapse in on itself. So if you're wanting to create a uh, brick house it it is so if you've created like a wooden base or something and then you find out that you have like five bricks in your inventory you can easily craft a wall and then replace this wall with a brick wall and stuff like that if you ever need to and i just oh i just salvaged this wall and i'm not gonna be able to put it back god dang it Next up, we have cage lights. Now, these are awesome. These are basically electric versions of torches. They are much better in torches in that they are brighter and they don't have that kind of nasty yellow hue. And uh, they, they look a lot more professional, to be honest. Um, these do need to be powered by generators. And now, luckily, generators do have much more uses and with those oil derricks and stuff like that. So electrifying your home is going to be that much easier. So very cool. So here's what they look like. They are just little cage lights as you would expect them to. You click F on them, if they're within a power source like that, they will light up, and they are much brighter than uh, regular torches. So, as you can see here, I think, oh shoot, full moon, problem solved. All right, but anyway, you can see that the light is sort of reaching like up to here, and then uh, if we remove this and replace it with a torch, not to mention it has kind of a gross yellow color, and the torch doesn't even come close to reaching this far, as you can see. It barely even lights up this home, so. Anyway, a single cage light does a pretty good job of lighting up pretty much your entire house. So, you know, we'll put one there, we'll put one there, and good to go. It's a very satisfying light. And that pretty much wraps up everything that was physically added into the game this update. One pretty cool tweak that was added uh, was the fact that ladders now snap you towards the center of them. So I'm sure some of you guys might have accidentally started climbing up the side of a ladder and then you can't actually reach the top because you'll start banging the bottom of this right here and all sorts of different issues with ladders. Sometimes you'll you'll fall through the ladder, you won't end up climbing up on them. Anyway, all that has been fixed. Now the radius to grab onto a ladder has been increased so that you will no longer start to fall through the thing and also when you try and climb up it if you accidentally come in on the side like so um, it will snap you towards the center so that you can make sure that you will make it to the top 100% of the time. But anyway that pretty much wraps up everything that was added in Unturn 3.14.12.0 there were a few minor little tweaks and fixes and improvements that I didn't cover in this video, but if you guys would like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that, Jabberish, because you might be cool. Peace out.